Welcome, Coach Doran. Uh, when you're ready to give a statement, go right ahead. Really proud of our guys. Um, that defense showed a ton of heart. You know, you guys know who's hurt. So to see the way they played and three fourth down stops and a um, interception by Shy Battle was a great play. Um, offensively, we woke up in the second half and, and uh, we were able to do some good things. You know, I thought of Mecca. 10 catches or uh, five catches, excuse me, and had a nice touchdown. Devin Carter played a really good football game. Trent Penix really helped us tonight. It was a really nice play call um, by Coach Beck and I thought Ricky um, did some nice things for us. But Devin Leary really, uh, and he's just playing smart. You know, I think there's times where he's trying to be a little bit too perfect. Uh, but man, he, he did some. He's gutsy, you know, he stands in there and they're blitzing, he's taking hits and, and throwing good passes and taking care of the football. We're bowl eligible, you know, come off a, another tough loss with a great win and just says a lot about the resiliency of, of this group. So very proud of them and love the way we finished the game. All right, let's take some questions. Uh, Jonas, go ahead. Coach, you kind of already answered my question for me. I was gonna ask you to, pick one word to kind of describe how Devin Leary and just said gutsy just now. But he just talked about his performance um, there in the fourth quarter. How, I think it was seven for eight, um, three touchdown passes, how, how he came alive there in the fourth. Yeah, I mean, he was clutch. I thought, you know, <clears throat> Coach Beck did some nice things. Formationally, he got us into uh, some better looks and called some timely plays. And, you know, they were bringing a lot of pressure to stop our run game tonight. And uh, did some nice things with the blitzes. And Devin, you know, I think as the game went on, started to ID what was happening and gave guys chances to make plays. And they did. You know, I mean, that's the bottom line is in this league, you're going to have tight coverage. You have to make contact type catches. And you're going to have to, as a quarterback, read different things and, and react. And Devin did that. And multiple guys stepped up to make plays for him. Uh, Daniel Wilson. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the win today. I um, want to talk about Drake Thomas. Obviously, he was certainly no slouch uh, before this season, but since Moore and Wilson went down, he's put it in Herculean effort. Today, he had 15 tackles, two sacks. Uh, how important is his performance, especially when uh, you're going against a versatile quarterback like Cunningham, and how has he kind of taken the baton and run with it? Yeah, Drake's a great leader. And he's been a great leader, you know. I mean, he's a guy that uh, we named captain immediately when we lost Peyton. He's been playing well all season. And you saw him at Mike Linebacker tonight. He's played all three spots this season. He's graded out as high as any guy on our football team in every game. You know, he's he's a warrior. And I uh, love having a guy like that in the middle of our defense. You know, losing Isaiah is a huge loss. Uh, to be able to put a guy like Drake in the middle – uh, is a, a nice luxury to have, you know, and, and to have a guy that hasn't played that position all season, never actually since he's been here, to step in and play like that says a ton about that young man. Uh, David Thompson. Yeah, Coach, did you, was there something really that, that changed in the fourth quarter, something that you noticed on the sideline that, that really how it all kind of just came together? Yeah, we just uh, started making some plays. I think started moving the pocket a little bit, some sprint outs, some bootlegs, nakeds getting off the spot. We weren't just dropping back and handing the football off. I thought we did some better things play calling wise, but we also had some good field position. You know, the defense had some stops there to set up the offense and that helped us. Just as a quick follow up, how much does it help the offense? Obviously, you know, Mecca is a great target, but to get guys like Trent, CJ involved and, and to have big plays, and then also to have, you know, Devin to make that touchdown a little redemption from last week. Yeah, I think uh, I'm really happy for Devin Carter. You know, I was really disappointed in some of the people out there um, put some things on social media about him. And, and uh, I don't know if they're fans of ours or not. If they are, they can get lost. That's a great kid, and uh, he deserves people to treat him with respect. He plays really hard. He practices really hard and he played his butt off tonight and he has all year, you know, he had one drop in a game. And uh, so, you know, when people do that to our players, it's, it's really a, a lack of class. So, you know, I hope it wasn't one of our fans. I was told that uh, 
several people were saying things about him. So I'm happy for him that he played like that. You know, these kids fight, they battle, they put hours in. And, you know, it's sad uh, that somebody out there has probably never played it down to football or competed in his life. You know, thinks he's a man by putting something on Twitter about a player after he makes a play like that. So, you know, that's probably enough on that one. But uh, as far as Devin Carter goes, he played his butt off and proud of him. You know, and I think Porter Rooks, you know, made a nice play for us there down the stretch too. He had a drop early and came back and made a great catch on that corner route. And Trent Penix, that was a great play call by Coach Beck um, off of our bunch toss series and really nice play. Devin could have gave him a nice foot, uh, a nice ball and we needed that play. It was a key play in the game. All right, uh, James Henderson. Hey, Dave, uh, Vi was putting a, a newer, a bigger role for you guys tonight, Vi Jones. Uh, just talk about the, the job he did, and, and was this a, a game script maybe that kind of fits his, his athleticism with, with Cunningham? Yeah, it was a good game for him, obviously. Uh, <laughs> that quarterback, something, man. He's a really good football player. I have nothing but tremendous respect for Malik. Um, I like watching him play. I don't really like playing against him, but I like watching him play. He's a good football player. And yeah, so Levi being as athletic as he is on the edge, it was nice having him. Um, and I look forward to watching the film. I know it just he grabbed me after the game and said there's a lot of things that he's got to work on. So, you know, he's in the right mindset after a win to already be talking about what he wants to get better at. All right, uh, Rob McLam. Yeah, David, uh, it was 14-10, Louisville kicked a field goal. Uh, how huge was that for North Carolina State to have the response to stick a bit in the barn uh, on the next drive? Yeah, it was big, you know, to get up by eight points right there, which uh, gave us some nice cushion. And, you know, defensively, we were playing well. So just getting a little protection, <laughs> as you guys know, I mean, it's just it's a tough game and have a little bit, you know, right there in the fourth quarter and then, Things started to kind of matriculate our way, and then we were able to pad that lead, which was awesome down the stretch. All right. Thanks, Coach Storm. Thank you, guys. Uh, Mike Toper, what do you got for Devin? A whole lot of goodness. Uh, congrats on the win, Devin. I um, just want to ask you, obviously their defense was, was matching you guys pretty well in the first half. What opened up for you in the second half to allow you guys to get some drives going and actually, you know, get it in the end zone there a few times. Yeah, I think it was just really staying on rhythm. You know, we were hurting ourselves a little bit in the first half. Uh, credit to Louisville. They did a great job defensively uh, throwing different things at us. But, you know, second half, we just had to settle in, um, stay on rhythm, stay in front of the change, like we like to say, and, you know, just try to go 1-0 and each and every play. All right. Um, Corey. Devin, obviously there had to be a little bit of frustration there in the second and third quarter, but how good was it to be able to get that first touchdown there at the beginning of uh, the fourth quarter to be able to kind of create that momentum that hadn't really been there through those second and third quarters? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, credit to our defense. I mean, they played their tails off the entire game. Um, and, you know, we kind of rallied off of them. I mean, each and every series, they were making plays, uh, getting the ball for us and, you know, they, we kind of just looked to them and they were looking at us like, come on, let's go, let's go. And we kind of just fed off of that energy. Um, early on in the game, we weren't executing well. We weren't, um, you know, sticking to what we did do best, being able to run the ball, being able to take what the defense gives us. But the second half, we were able to settle in and execute on multiple different plays. And as a follow-up, you threw to 11 different receivers, if you include Derek Eason, unfortunately. Uh, but on the night, uh, you did throw four touchdown passes to four different guys. I mean, what does that say about you know, how good this wide receiving core is, but also the tight ends, obviously, with Trent Penix kind of having a breakout night, too? Yeah, I mean, it just goes to show that in this offense and then me being the signal caller is that I trust everyone out there. Uh, it doesn't matter – if you're one, two, or three, I mean, any guy that's out there, everyone should expect the ball each and every play. And that's the type of confidence that I have in them. And that's the type of understanding that they have when I'm at playing a quarterback. They understand that I don't, I don't really care. As long as you're out there, you're going to be making plays. And that's kind of how I always played the game. And I'm very thankful for my receivers, tight ends, and our offensive line did a great job tonight. Thanks, Devin.
All right, uh, James Henderson. Yeah, Devin, you touched on this a little bit ago, uh, a minute ago, but your defense kept you guys in the game when you really were, you know, couldn't really get going offensively. Was that something you guys you kept stressing on the sidelines, like, "Hey, we're in this, we're in this, we can we can kind of get this going, we can we can win this game." Yeah, I mean, we we knew eventually it would break through. We just had to keep pushing, keep everyone had to keep doing their job. No one had to do too much or you know start to think they have to do more than what's expected. Um, and like I said, credit to the defense. I mean, they kept us kept us in the game early on. Uh, they were encouraging us at halftime, and they have all the confidence in the world in us too, as well as we do for them. So, you know, just being able to feed off of their energy, being able to watch them ball out and get us the ball back was huge for us. And just to follow up, that last touchdown you threw to C.J. Riley was on third down. A lot of times in those situations, you, teams may run the ball. Well, what does it say to you, you know, that your, that your coordinator went with you guys throwing it there? Yeah, I thought it was a great play call. Um, it's something that we practice each and every week, uh, that situation. And, yeah, I mean, C.J. made a heck of a play. I mean, I just give those guys a chance. That's all that our coaches asked for me to do is give our, give our receivers a chance. And he, C.J. came down with a great catch, and I thought it was a great play call as well. Thanks. Uh, David Thompson. Hey, Devin. I, I know it's on the other side of the ball, but can you just talk about uh, Drake's performance tonight and, and just the energy that it gave the sideline and, and also the offense? Yeah, I, I think Drake played outstanding. Um, I mean, he knew that he was going to have to step up. I mean, he stepped into a different role, having to play Mike with Isaiah going down. And I mean, he fully embraced it. I mean, even pregame, he's hyping the guys up, uh, you know, filling that role that Isaiah kind of had on the field and even off the field. And I mean, our entire team has 100% confidence in Drake. We know what he's capable of doing. And he just showed a little glimpse of it tonight. And I mean, we're super proud of him. Uh, Jonas. Devin, I know there are um, several other goals you guys want to check off your list, but you check one off tonight by becoming bowl eligible. Um, how big was that for the team to kind of get that one out of the way uh, tonight? Yeah, I thought it was huge. I think even bigger than uh, obviously a bowl game we're very fortunate of. There's still a lot left in the season. Um, but I thought a huge accomplishment for us was being able to respond from last week. Um, that's that's that one and zero approach that we continue to preach. We continue to talk about, and it's real for us. You know, we put that last game to bed, and we knew Louisville was going to come out uh, strong, and we just responded well. So I'm super proud of our team, and we're just going to continue to build on from here on out. Daniel Wilson, go ahead. On the subject of uh, bouncing back, obviously it was uh, upsetting for Devin Carter uh, to have you know crucial drops last week. Obviously, your confidence, as you established, is unwavered. But how did you see his approach throughout practice, and how satisfying was it when you were able to uh, throw him a touchdown tonight? Yeah, you know, it's, it was pretty much the same, honestly. I mean, Devin takes the same approach week in, week out. Um, He's a very hard worker, and yeah, last week he was really tough on himself, but we all knew he didn't mean to drop the ball. Uh, that's not very like him, and he knows it's not like him. So he just got back to work, prepared how he always does, and you know, when I throw him the ball, when we call plays his way, we expect him to make those plays, and that's what he does. Uh, I think last week, you know, it happens sometimes, it's football, but I mean, Devin Carter is a tremendous player, tremendous teammate, and he just responded back as we expected him to. All right. Thanks, Devin. Appreciate it. Thank you. And we're going to have uh, Drake Thomas here next. All right. Questions for Drake. Uh, James Henderson. Yeah, Drake, you know, I think this might have been the first true dual threat you guys have faced this year. Um, how tough is it to defend a guy like Malik Cunningham? And, and what was the real, what was really the game plan? Um, I mean, obviously, it's really tough when you face a team that has a running quarterback. You have, they have an extra blocker, um, you know, in the run game when they run, you know, quarterback leads and stuff like that. And then also you got to keep him contained in the pocket when he uh, drops back to pass. You, you always got to be thinking about that. And we knew that we had to do that in order to be successful and just keep him in the pocket and keep him contained. All right, uh, David Thompson. 
you know, knowing that obviously Peyton and now Isaiah are out, you know, how much responsibility did you put on yourself, um, not only on the field, but off the field to, to be a leader and, and just to play the way you did, you know, 15 tackles, two sacks, it feels like you, you really stepped up. I took full uh, responsibility, you know, um, you know, I felt like how the defense performed tonight, it was on me at the end of the day, I got to step up into that position and I got to, you know, fill the shoes. Um, I, you know, I tried my best tonight. I mean, just gonna keep on going, keep on doing it. I, I know you're not always, you don't always show a lot of emotions on this, but are you pretty happy with the way that you played? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. It was fun. I had fun out there. All right. Um, let's see, Robert, Corey Smith. Uh, Drake, you know, obviously we're looking at the box score here and the, the stats are unreal, but for you, I mean, how personal did you take this this assignment of, of having to stop Malik Cunningham? Because obviously that's the that's the key to really stopping this offense as a whole. Um, I mean, I took it very personally. You know, like I said, the performance in the, as the defense and as a whole, I took that, you know, upon myself. So, you know, just getting everything, clicking everything, gelled up, um, the communication in the back end to the, uh, the front seven. Um, I just took, you know, full responsibility for all of it. So that including... You know, uh, containing Malik Cunningham. So, uh, yeah, I took full responsibility in that too. And Devin said after the game that, you know, the defense was really sparking, trying to spark the offense, trying to get them going. Uh, you know, how much were you guys active on the sidelines trying to get the offense to, you know, to respond after you guys continued to get stops? I feel like some teams, um, you know, wherever they're around the country, when you, their offense maybe you know be, might be struggling a little bit. They kind of separate, and we know how important it is to you know, support our guys and you know keep on motivating them because we know at some point it's going to break through. We have full confidence in Leary and the whole entire offense that at some point it's going to break through. So just keeping them positive, keeping them up, you know, and as you guys saw it in the second half, late it broke through. Uh, Jonas Pope, Rick, is that a uh... Is that an Isaiah Moore shirt you're rocking right here in the press conference? Yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah's shirt from, uh, you know, his brand, his merch that I bought. Uh, my, my, that's my real question. My real question is, what does it say about the maturity of his team? You know, Devin talked about going 1-0 and each week. You know, you guys were down and things weren't going your way. What does it say about the maturity of the team to, A, bounce back from last week and to, B, just kind of put it together in the fourth quarter when it mattered most this week? Um, it, shows, it says a lot about ma our maturity. I feel like that takes a, like a really strong and mature team to do what we just did. You know, last week was hard. It was a tough loss. You know, we were hurting. We were hurting really bad. Um, and, you know, we took it personal. Um, you know, everyone counting us out, expect the defense especially with all the injuries. Um, and we appreciate that. And, we, you know, we're going to we, we built off of it. How much of that was the message this week to your guys in practice? Hey, hey, people are counting us out because we're missing four guys. Was that like a big talking point for you as one of the leaders this week in practice? Yeah, I mean, I'd say that was a huge motiva motivator. You know, people counting us out. You know, we don't try to buy in too much of the outside noise. But, you know, we in that room as a defense, we knew that we trusted each other and we counted on each other and we knew we could do it. We believed in ourselves and that's really all we needed. You know, so, it, but it was a motivator, I'd say. David Thompson. So did Isaiah make you buy that shirt? <laughs> no, nah, he didn't make me buy it. I bought it. You know, support him. It's my brother. Okay. Support him. Okay. Um, does it, it feels appropriate that you're wearing his shirt too. You feel like you kind of embodied him a little bit too on, on the field today? I mean, yeah, everything that I do every single day when I go out on the field now is for him. I can't take anything for granted. Um, I know, you know, the love he has for this game and the passion he plays with every single day. So, you know, I'd be doing him a disservice if I did anything else. James Henderson. Drake, uh, Vi Jones had a bigger role tonight, obviously playing alongside him. What, what did you see from him tonight? I, I asked Coach Dorn. It sounded like it seemed like this was a really good matchup for his skill set. What did you say at the end there? Sorry. It seemed like this was a good matchup for his skill set playing against a guy like Cunningham with his athleticism. Oh, yeah. I mean, his pass rush ability, you know, helps us contain him, you know, keep him in the pocket, get pressure on him. Um, so, yeah, I feel like that was a really good matchup for him. And just, you know, Levi in general, he's been, you know, he's ready. You know, he's been ready. He's been waiting. You know, just, you know, he hasn't been a huge, uh, you know, had a huge role early on in the season. But he, I know we, the whole defense knows he's been ready. And, you know, stepping up today, he definitely uh, played a big part. 
and I'm happy for him too. All right, anything else for Drake? All right, thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Uh, guys, that's the uh, last player we have tonight. Uh, appreciate it.